right. Hello, 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 Reverend Dr. Marie Breville. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm doing the same thing again. I'm trying to operate out of two cameras. Let's see how that goes. Um, I hope everyone is good. Um, hope you guys had a wonderful night. So, a friend of mine wanted me to talk about... Wait, I didn't write it down. So don't be surprised if I just forgot about it. <laughs> oh, that would be so terrible. Wait. All right. So... <clears throat> What my friend wanted me to mention is like, what's the story with people? Um, they tend to, I'm trying to be comfortable, so don't mind my pillows here, my cute little pillows. Pretty much, how come in or what's up with people, pretty much, talking about someone and why is it that what they tell you and by the time you get to know the person, it's not what they initially told you about the person. That's not what it is. Okay. Um, <clears throat> pretty much you can't control people's way of life. A lot of times people have their own issues. And a lot of times instead of dealing with them, they rather project it in someone else. You know? Welcome, guys. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> So a lot of times um, when people have their own issues, it's like sometimes, you know, um, you could see a parent who, you know, the kid could ask them something as simple as, you know, can I have this? And you could have been a witness for a while and you see that this kid has been behaving and that was probably the first time they asked something. And then you see that parent could flip out like, what is wrong with you? Leave me alone. Go sit down. Da, 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 da. A lot of times it's not necessarily what's going on right now, what you can see with your eyes. It's not what's going on. A lot of times it's what's going on behind the scene. It's, it, it's what was happening behind the scene. Maybe this <clears throat> parent could be lacking funds. It could be um, without a job. They could be, you know, have a very limited budget. So a lot of time when you set people off, it's not because of what you do, but it could be a trigger of something that you say. So to... You know, I just wanted to connect that with what I was saying, that a lot of times when people tell you things about one person, and then by the time you talk to the person, you're like, but they say she's rude. And then you're like, but she's not rude. So um, it's always good to get to know people. When someone, <clears throat> I don't know, what's up? I had my ginger, I had my drink. And I had to apologize for earlier for this video because I was trying to do this two thing like right now I have two cameras in front of me <laughs> so um yeah so it wouldn't work as well as I thought it that it would so but this seems to be working out fine so hopefully it stays that way but yeah so when you see someone tells you about someone and maybe the question could be you know what make you feel this way about this person why do you why do you think this person is rude and I remember like <clears throat> when I was growing up a lot of times sometimes people don't like to tell me things because I would be the type that would be like oh John oh come here um you know Sandra was just saying that you're very silly and I would do that not because I wanted to start trouble but I wanted to I do that so people don't use me to tell to bash someone else because I don't really like it I never really liked it so I was known for that so a lot of times it's like if something is going on people are not gonna be like oh look can you believe she's worried they're not gonna call me and ask me anything because I will call the person right in front of you and then I would say well this person has an opinion has something they would like to share with you how do you feel about would you like to hear <laughs> would you like to hear it or so, so yeah, so a lot of times when people say things about another person, um, most of the time, most of the time, I think it's not going to be what they tell you, but what happens is that maybe that person had a bad experience because maybe both of them were having a bad day, um, or it could be the person could be rude in real life, but because someone is rude, you don't have to take it in because what it is, again, they are projecting whatever that's going on in their life onto you so now 
are you gonna allow them to do it and then you in return you're just gonna do it to someone else so it's just like hurt people hurt people it's not gonna be um happy people that hurt people it's gonna be hurt people that hurt people everyone who's gonna anybody who's gonna be rude like sometimes when you go to work and you know you didn't do anything and then you know your boss is being nasty and you're like wait i'm confused did i do something wrong did i say something and then later on to realize they're going through their own challenges and that's why they were behaving the way that they behave so pretty much most of the time and i don't want to be um out of myself to say you know 100 percent of the time but pretty high 80 90 percent of the time that people react to you it has nothing to do with you i don't know if you guys ever heard you know somebody else um somebody kicked their cat way before you came so pretty much it's like wh however they projecting onto you it's not anything it has nothing to do with you it's not anything that you did but it's just how they're feeling now or whatever that happened in their life before you know um they could have gone to work had a bad day they could have um, been on the field and they did not make a sale they could have gone see a client who was not happy themselves and projected whatever that was going on um, onto that person you know it's like everybody's trying to avoid whatever that's going on in their lives um, everyone is trying to avoid being authentic everybody's trying to avoid being vulnerable because you know who likes to be vulnerable i mean do you want to see me with tears and be like oh my god i'm in so much pain i can't wake up like no i'm not gonna do it because i'm not some people do and you know they can but um most people don't want to be so vulnerable don't want the world to know that actually oh i woke up upset or i woke up sad or um i'm missing you you know like people I don't know if it's because of technology. It's like a lot of people um, are just... Naturally, we're already afraid to be vulnerable. But over time, with technology and everything else, it, 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 it feels as though everyone is kind of like, you know, straining away from being vulnerable. So, um, you know, if someone wants to come to you and start telling you about someone else, and you ask them. And even sometimes, like, when people tell me things about that someone else told me, um, you know, about me. And I ask you, what made them so comfortable to tell you? Because if you're my friend, I don't understand. If this person had something so negative, so nasty to talk about, and they know how you feel about me, or they know that you're my best friend, why would they choose you to tell you? And not only that, you know, not only what made them so comfortable to tell you, but secondly... Um, what did you say? You know, because some people have the tendency to just register. And, and, and I remember I made somewhat upset one time when I said that, um, you know, because it, it was not only about what they had to say. It was not only about, you know, people were talking about you. No, I want to know you as my friend. I want to know what did you say? How did you react to whatever that they were saying? Because obviously if they knew that you were my friend, you were going to be upset and you were going to respond, then they wouldn't have done it. I mean, I have had friends that um, people will start talking nonsense about them while they're not there. And I address it. And I address it as if like you were talking about me. And I never said anything to my friend. There's no need for them to know. I've already addressed it. If whatever information they got was misconstrued and... And I addressed it and I fixed it and I moved forward. I don't have to make my friends sad or upset to go and wanting to feel to confront someone. If the person has the backbone for it <clears throat> and I know that they can handle it, um, then I would let them know. I would say, you know, just be careful because you see them eating and drinking with that, with the person that was or, or the people that were talking bad about them. So I would just tell them, you know what, be careful with this person because sometimes the way they act with you is not necessarily how they act behind you, you know. And I really, for me to do, to say it or to do so, it has to be um, somewhat become a necessity because I don't see the point of making people sad or upset over things that otherwise they didn't have to. So um, as I said, when people do things or when they say things, it's not um, necessarily because 
of something you did to them. It's not necessarily it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with you. Um you know, it's just something that that's going on with their with their own self. It's something um it's damages that's going on inside of them and the only way for them to deal with it without having to face the reality is just to inflict pain onto you is just offloading their own thing and and leave it leave you with it um i mean if you have good friends i mean they can always help you to uh you know to to um to get rid of that load to address that load to to get rid of it in in a more um productive way you know but unfortunately Again, I don't know if it's because of technology or what or whatever else that's going on. A lot of times, um, people no longer address their issues. They just inflict it on someone else. And then that other person just keep inflicting it onto the next person and that next person onto the next person. And next thing you know, we have a a, a, a community of hurting people who refuse to face the reality who refuse to say you know what i'm i'm hurting or that i'm hurt and that it's time to deal with it it's time to address it it's time to move forward but they don't really do that so it's up to us who have the knowledge to decide and say you know what the next time someone comes to you and trying to offload certain things and you just tell them listen uh you know, I appreciate you picking me out for this project, but I'm not going to be able to help you with it. Because a lot of times if we were willing to just tell people the truth, and by that I, I don't mean like you don't have to be rude, nasty, you don't have to be, um, you don't have to be inflicting any kind of pain, you don't have to get violent, you don't have to do any of that. Sometimes you can just tell people like, listen, um, that sounds good, but... You know, I'm sure there's there's a crowd for that out there, and um, I, and I'm not it. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not that crowd. And a lot of times, you know, um, we can do it, but it's hard for a lot of us to to take a stand and say, you know what, this is wrong. So many times I've seen like something could be going wrong and everybody knows it's wrong but then everybody prefers to just turn the other cheek and pretend like it's not happening or that it is happening but they prefer to just keep to themselves so then they never have to deal with it and i mean if you guys are familiar with social work and that's how it goes a lot of times people could help you they could put in an application for you they could help you they could send you an application they could give you more knowledge and that was one of the things that i've always um, and sure to work on, like, I, I don't come into a home pretending like I can fix everything, but I can refer you to things that can help you even after I'm gone. I'm not, and I'm not saying expired, but I'm saying even when I'm not, you know, working or anything like that, you still have access to resources that you can help yourself that every time you need something, you don't have to call me. And that's always how I've put it. So a lot of times people have access to these things. It's not like they they um, don't have access, but people are not going to make the extra effort, you know, to reach out to a center, to reach out to someone, to get a mentor, to get a counselor, to go to therapy, for God's sake, you know, um, and just ad address your issues. It's like I have seen people being upset and sad and bitter for so long, but when do you tell yourself, you know what? enough is enough like I've been bitter long enough like I was saying before it's like um or perhaps yesterday you know I've seen people who did not have a good marriage who it ended up being sour and instead of moving forward and you'll have one of them who swear like it's either gonna work out or they're being bitter about the other person and hoping that their relationship don't work out doesn't work out or that I don't know like they have such a variety of things going on in their head like I run out of I don't know excuses or explanation for them and I've talked to some of them and they would like really hold on to the pain so much that if they put half of that energy and to fixing their lives and moving forward, they would have been better off. I mean, I have had young people who have stopped um, 
properly dating back, you know, they instead have chosen to, um, you know, to continue a, an unfortunate promiscuous lifestyle, you know, because they're afraid. They're afraid to give love another try. They're afraid to get back into a relationship. But in the meantime, they're selling themselves cheap. You know, they're just running all over the place and giving themselves to anybody who's willing to take it or who can make any mere promise. So, you know, um, as I said, to go, come back to our beginning, it's like if people want to talk and they don't have any productive thing to talk about this year, uh, maybe it's a good time to just let them find some new friends, some new network um some new some some other community that that can reflect what they're looking for that can reflect their vision and then another thing like i do sometimes when people come and and want to open up the doors of talking nonsense and sometimes it's not always nonsense it could be real concerns that they have but what happens is that um it's not productive here like a lot of times people ask, Oh, why you tie your hair? Why you why you don't wanna show your hair? Why but to me it's like I don't really bother asking people those questions because it and it's fine if, if they're so curious, they wanna know and to me like if I ask you this it's because I'm interested into doing it too. So a lot of times I just don't see the point of people just asking nonsensical questions just so they could ha have a new conversation. Um, like if, if what I'm going to ask you is not going to better my life, is not going to give me one more brand of knowledge, if not, is not going to give me one more, um, um, one more information. I don't see the point of asking because it's like, why asking so many questions and you're not getting anywhere? Why um, talking about things that are not advancing you, that are not stretching you, that are not stretching your mind, stretching your understanding, stretching your wisdom. Like, why? I, I just don't get it. You know, I just don't get it. And sometimes the sad thing too about it is that the people that are doing it never see a reason to change. They could go on and on and on and on with the same attitude for so long and and I wonder, I wonder, do they get it? Do you realize that this is really a waste of time? You really want to sit back and talk about other people all your life? And I recently, some of my friends were, um, you know, we were just doing like a, an overall review of this new year and your time or whatever. And they always like, you know, look at all the things that you're posting. Look at all the things you talk about. And, you know, they come, they watch, and then people walk away. But then... Were you like online and start doing some nonsense stuff? Were you, were you to go online and start like cursing at people? And next thing you know, it'll be like 10 billion views before you know it. But in the meantime, when you're giving people um, important information, they're not collecting it. You know, a lot of the people that, that have like so much wisdom to share with us. And you see, like, many of us don't realize they even existed until they die. They never realize that, oh, wow, this person had such... And sometimes they could live right next door to them or they could be in the same home with them. But people just don't appreciate information until they have to pay. Let's say that we made this broadcast like a webinar that some, you know, in order for you to have access, you had to put a credit card. And suddenly people want to, like, you know, they would want to copy, they would want to share on their page, they would want to like shoot in their email to people. And just because it's accessible, then nobody says anything. You know, it's like, oh, okay, they come, they watch and they're like, oh, wow, okay, that, that is so true. And then they go back home, you know, like this morning, I was talking about the shake and then I, you know, kind of show it. Of course, the video didn't come out right, but don't worry. I have it on YouTube, so I'm going to put it right back on there. But I made the shake, you know, it's like smoothie, whatever y'all want to call it. Blended juice. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's very healthy. And by having that, you know, you can help out, help cleaning out your skin. 
you know, maybe clean your belly, you know, you could do a lot of things by just by doing this. Um, and whatever, sometimes, you know, when you're doing natural things, when you're doing plant-based, um, your body responds to it automatically. There's nothing extra that you need to do. However, you know, people could come and they're watching, they keep it moving, but you, you're not going to see it on the page. You could go like in some of the talks you would see, it could be like a hundred, 200 views, but then you're like, how many shares? The three people, <laughs> the three people, the 10 people that told you, oh yeah, that was great. You know, that shared it. That's it. Everybody else just keep it moving. But that's not the point. The point of this is, all right. Hopefully this is content because I'm sorry, I'm not going to dance. I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to be drunk <laughs> online. Um, I'm not really going to do anything that's out of my class. So I'm very specific about the things that I can do online and acting crazy is not going to be one of them. So, um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's great. I love to have the chats, but then that's why before it's like I had to slow down a little bit and focus on things. Um, you know, that can further expand, um, my empire. Cause it's like, you know, I don't want to keep doing this cause doing this is, is free time. It's free time. It's free time for the people that receive it, but it's not free time for me. Cause it's not free internet. It's not free. <laughs> it's not free makeup when I do it sometimes. Cause I don't do it always. It's not free head scarf and you know, everything that someone do, you know, somebody does, you have to appreciate it. Because it just, it could have been otherwise, you know, we could have chosen to do other things. We could have chosen to just be like these other people, come fight on the camera, come act like a fool on the camera. So when you have content, when you find, you know, some of my friends too, when they get on and they talk about things that are imperative, how to take care of yourself, how to um, use natural products for your face, um, how to, you know, if they have eating healthy, decoration, whatever it is that they're sharing, um, I see it. It could even be something that I don't, they could be doing, you know, um, something that I don't even really do, you know? Um, and as long as it's not something that's going, that I feel in some way will insult me or anyone watching, I repost it. And, and by that, I'm not saying that I filter out the truth, you know, that I'm not going to tell you the truth if the truth needs to be told, but it's like, you know, when you have access to good content, and I know a lot of us are like online, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is that's out there, Facebook. Um, when you have someone who's bringing out content, repost it, share with someone, you know, tag a friend who needs to hear it. And sometimes, you know, we have some friends that um, it might not be so easy for you to just walk up to them and say, hey, listen, you know what? Your tongue is too long and you talk too much. You need to stop. You might not be able to do that. And even if you were to, you know, remix, you were to, to tell them um, in a nice way, listen, you know, it's a new year and I hope that, you know, you um, filter your mouth, you know, filter the things that are coming out of your mouth, you know, um, and definitely the stuff that are going inside of your brain and your mind and yada yada. You might not be able to have a conversation regardless with them. So, um, you could kindly tag them, you know, tag them or share it on their page, you know, if it's something that they need to know. And, and, and you don't have to, you don't have to do it in a certain way. So the person does not take it, doesn't take it personal because you know how life is. People take things personal so quickly. So you could just post it and say, oh, you know what? I listened to this thing and I think I'm going to apply it. This is actually pretty good. And you know, you're really talking about them and you're hoping that they apply it. But for the sake of peace, you know, you just tell them, hey, listen, I think I want to apply this. I don't know if you're interested. I thought, you know, since you like positive things and they could be the most negative person in the world. But, you know, and keep it moving. One thing I use, like when I work with young people to to support them in changing their ways. And I'm not saying like, you know, I just like I'm being fake or anything like that. I could be... um I could be, you know, they could uh, prep me about this is who this person is. This is how they are. This is what they're going to do. They curse everybody out and blah, 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 blah. And then, then I can ask a couple more questions. What do they do? Do they draw? Do they sing? Do they anything artistic? Oh, okay. They, oh, okay. They can sing. All right, great. What else do they do? Do they play instrument? I, f I try to find out as much as I can about them, you know, and by the time I meet with that person 
and they would probably expect me to be upset to start like uh excuse me i need this and that and 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 i think that's what's been happening with a lot of kids like when people come up to them they come with such a disrespect that they always feel the obligation to always have a shield and ready for battle so um so when i come to them the first thing is like oh my god you know their hair could be something completely different that i probably wouldn't do or i probably wouldn't even allow but since I'm an open-minded person who's, um, you know, really into art, so not too much really scare me or turn me off or push me away. Um, and they could have their hair, I don't know, blue and yellow. And, you know, I'll find something nice to say about it. And the funny thing is, is that you see how people change the minute you say something nice. It's like everybody has been saying, like, this is so stupid. Why you have this color? And then one person just came out and said, oh, my God you are daring how could you just you just put this color how did you do it yourself did you pay you must have paid expensive for this and then they turn around and say oh i did it myself and i'm like no you're kidding and i'm like you know what you want to do mine and i and i and i play around and i'm like okay let me take this off and then they're like really and i'm like no i never take this off <laughs> so you know it's like it's funny once you change your attitude with someone once you change um, their expectation unconsciously, they change with you. And I've seen like that U-turn being done so many times. It's like, it's so easy for us to just insult someone that you, we don't even look the other way to try to even be nice anymore. So yeah, I'm not going to stay long because it's almost like, is it 12 o'clock? Oh, y'all made me late. All right. Prayer time. <laughs> No, y'all not invited. Y'all can go do your own prayer. <laughs> but it's such a pleasure. It's been fun. It's It's been awesome being here. So, um, again, to close out, it was just about, you know, people who tell you things about someone. And then when you go back, when you actually meet the person and you realize that this person is nothing um, that you expected them to be. They told you this person was so nasty, crazy, and would curse you out and by the time you meet that person it was not the truth at all so um this is just a reminder to tell you know don't don't run and judge a book book by the cover because you see the covers beat up you expecting the information to also be um as beat up to not be as good but a lot of times you see the book beat up and the information is just is is more imperative that you could ever even imagine so as always like and share I'm not pointing out to nobody. <laughs> Definitely like and share. Try to subscribe because that's how you'll be able to um, get get me every time that I go live. And as I had promised, regardless how much the level of pain, I will keep on um, lugging in, lugging in to um, to continue doing the videos. So, um, and regarding that um, shake video, I'm gonna be posting reposting because i i had it um uploaded on youtube so i'll have that reposted so you could have a better idea of what i was talking about um and that's pretty much for me i hope you have a wonderful day and that you know god continues his blessing upon you and your family if you have one um while you are there please be safe because it's a new year but it does not mean that people have changed people are still crazy out there um just be careful and until next time it's reverend dr marie breville and um always a pleasure thank you for spending this little time with me and i look forward to talking to you soon take care and have a nice one Mwah.